I think it's old school, reminds them of their grandmas. From sweet cream pies to fruit and even nuts, Gina Watts has tips for making a delicious pie right in your own kitchen. Her best advice, practice. She just kind of can tell, you know, how your mom used to always say, I just know what it looks like. It's kind of like that. The more you do it, the more comfortable you are with it. A graham cracker crust is a good place to start. Graham cracker crumbs, granulated sugar, and melted butter are mixed together, put in a pie pan, and then baked for about seven minutes. Probably with cream pies, people tend to overcook it and it gets um, burnt on the bottom and it'll be lumpy and not, still probably tastes okay, but kind of have a funky texture. Then comes the filling, which she likes to make homemade. This will cook for around 14 minutes, then we'll add some vanilla and butter to top it off. Then it gets dumped in the crust, covered up and put in the fridge to cool. As long as it's cool to touch, it'll be okay to put the whipped cream on. You can make this by hand, but it's very time consuming. We do it in a um, stand mixer and all it is is heavy whipping cream with vanilla and a little bit of powdered sugar. For people new to making pies, she recommends starting with a fruit pie. Like cherry pies are really good, apple pies. They normally only take a few ingredients like flour and um, cinnamon, like I said, the tapioca, just a few things here and there to to make it extra good. The fruit does a lot of it for you. In Kanawha City, Allison Scott, Eyewitness News.